And welcome back at 643. How's your hearing? For many people, not that good. Mm -hmm. In fact, the CDC reports two out of 10 people in the U.S. between the ages of 20 and 69 have permanent hearing loss. But did you know for many, hearing loss is preventable? Leslie Hudson has more on what you could do to protect your most vital senses. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? If you're hearing this more often, you're not alone. A multi-university study found 1 billion people are expected to lose their hearing. And it's not just affecting the elderly. Age doesn't really seem to play a role here. It can be somebody very young, very old. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says safe listening occurs at 85 decibels, which is equivalent to a food blender. So what can hurt your hearing? Things such as blow dryers and lawn mowers exceed the safe levels. City traffic comes in at 90 decibels. Listening to music from your smartphone can be as high as 105 decibels. And event venues emit noises as loud as 104 to 112 decibels. Your overall health can also contribute to hearing loss. Types 1 and 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol affects almost every cell in the body, including the ears. And even pain relievers like aspirin and ibuprofen could do damage in high amounts. Also try using noise canceling headphones to reduce background noise. If you are in an area where you can't control the sound levels, like a concert, stand farther away from the speakers and take a break from the noise every 15 minutes. And give your hearing a break for at least 18 hours after lots of loud noises. And remember, there's no shame in getting your hearing tested. I'm Leslie Hudson reporting. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.